Welcome. It's time to do an international dish. This week we are going to Vietnam and we're doing a comfort food that I eat probably once a week. I love this. It's a uh, Vietnamese soup and it's called pho. And it's spelled P-H-O with a little accent on the O, but uh, it's pronounced pho. And usually you'll see it like pho 79, pho 64. You'll see a number after it. Now this may be rumor. I was told use the number that they, they put after the word pho is their lucky number. Whoever owns that store, they'll put their lucky number. Now that may be a rumor, that's just what I was told. Because I asked some um, Vietnamese people that I know, uh, why do they always have a number? Is that how many locations they have? No, they don't have 74, it's just their, it's their lucky number. Okay, there's a few processes that go on here. There's a lot of ingredients on this table and I'll bring you in close to show you. But basically, um, the first thing we're gonna do is get the broth going, okay? Because that's gonna have to simmer for about an hour. All right, so you get the soup base and it's just basically uh, some seasonings and a beef, uh, beef stock. All right, that's the base. Then what you do is you take, it's really cool because the way they make this is they get it piping, piping hot and then they throw in raw meat that is sliced very thin, super thin. I'm going to try and do that. And it cooks instantly right in the bowl. Boom. Then they throw in um, the rice noodles and those cook. Boom. Instantly because it's so hot. Okay, look at all this. Is this crazy? So let me run down. Uh, here's the noodles the uh, rice noodles and the meat. That's the basics that we're gonna throw into the, the broth once we make it. Here's the beef stock and here's all some of the seasonings that are going in there. Uh, and don't forget the recipe's down below so don't even worry about this. Uh, I think it's pronounced anise seed or you've heard of star anise. Uh, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, please forgive me. I've never used this before. This is a seasoning that they say you definitely have to have uh, when you're making pho. So, uh, I've got it right here, and it was just on my spice aisle. And then uh, whole peppercorn, some ginger root, and cinnamon sticks. And then uh, then you got your, this is all going to be thrown in later. You got your bean sprouts, your lime, fresh basil, sliced jalapenos. You've got fresh mint, sliced onions, and cilantro. Now, when you drop this in at the end, it's piping hot. All of your seasonings just bust open. It's amazing. You're stirring it. Everything's cooking in the bowl right in front of you. Okay, if you've never made a spice bouquet, uh, basically you go and buy this. It's called cheesecloth. And it allows you to tie up the spices so that you can remove them later. Throw your ginger in here. Okay, so I found out the correct pronunciation for this. It's called anise seed, not anise. It's an anise. So that's the proper pronunciation. Just want to let you know, good old dictionary.com. They pronounce words for you. I love it. So it's anise seed. We're going to put that in right now. Here's your cinnamon stick. And the last part, whole peppercorn. Okay, now you're going to tie this all up. Bring this all together. And you're going to securely tie it with string. Now none of the seasoning can come out. You drop this in the soup and let this all the flavors come out of this. And then when you're done, you pull it out of the soup and you toss it. Okay, next thing you want to do is cut up the large onion because that's going in the soup broth also. Okay, and you don't have to do much cutting. I'm just going to do half circles. And you're going to, uh, if you want to cut this without crying, put this in the freezer for like about 10 minutes and then cut it. And all the gases that normally tear you up will not be there anymore. Okay, first thing you're going to do is you're going to put in all the beef broth into the pot. Okay, now you want to throw in all your onions and your seasoning bouquet right there. Throw that into the beef stock. Then what you're going to do is you're going to bring this to a boil, cover it, and lower the flame and simmer this for one hour. So let's get this on the stove right now. Okay, now we're going to prepare the meat. We have to slice this whole thing thin. 
My first choice is to take it to your butcher and have him do it. You want it as thin as possible, okay? I'm not uh, able to do that, so I'm gonna have to do it myself. Here's a tip for slicing meat thin. If you're gonna slice meat that's like room temperature, throw this in the freezer for 15 minutes. Then when you pull it out, it'll be firm. You'll be able to hold it, you'll get some good slicing on it, okay? All right, so we're going to cut this meat now that it's cold as thin as we can, okay? You want really thin meat. Give an idea how, how thin you want it. Right about like that, really thin. This should cook right away in the soup. Okay, next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get all your, your side garnishings. You wanna get all those onto the plate. So you can just set this on the table or you can just throw it in. Um, some of you may not like stems. I don't care about cilantro stems too much because it all cooks in the soup, so it's all good for me. So you get your cilantro, get some of your mint. You wanna take your, uh, your peppers and go ahead and slice the rings for that. I'm gonna leave the limes whole for right now. I'll cut them in the last minute. I do not want them to dry out, so I'm gonna leave them closed. Get my fresh basil here. A nice selection of uh, sprouts. Okay, now, see this? This all goes on the table. You're gonna take whatever you want off this plate and you're gonna put that in your soup, okay? So right now, put it in the fridge. It'll stay fresh until soup time. Now I just put the noodles in the warm water. 15 minutes before your soup's ready, do this process, okay? You want it to all come together. I just put in one package. If you like a lot of noodles, put in two, but uh, we're gonna let this sit in warm water just to soften it up, and then we're gonna put our soup together. It's gonna be awesome. The thing to making pho is keeping it fresh and hot. So here's what we're gonna do. Gonna get some nice pieces to put in here. We're gonna set the meat at the bottom. Okay, now I'm gonna grab some of the noodles, place them in the bowl, because they've been softened. There you go. Now here's the key. This came right hot off the stove. You can see the steam just coming right out of it. The key is to grab the broth. You wanna grab the broth as quickly as possible Get a nice scoop of this to go right over that. It's so hot, it's cooking the meat and the noodles. There we go. Piping hot. Get this back onto the stove and keep it hot. Okay, when you put your, uh, I'll throw a few jalapenos in there. Get those going. When you uh, put your mint leaves in, always break them up by hand. Okay, you wanna get the oils out of the leaves. So you wanna smash them and tear them apart by hand. Same with the basil leaves. You wanna get that basil oil out of the leaves. Throw some of your sprouts in there. And my wife's favorite, some cilantro. There we go. Got your lime, just squirt that in there. I'd like to take a little bit of the red hot sauce. It's got a rooster on the front, calls sriracha hot chili sauce. There we go. Get a little bit in there. I'm gonna take a little, it's called hoisin sauce. This is always in the restaurants too. Get a little bit of that in there. It's sweet and thick. So you don't want to use a lot of it. And you're gonna mix this up and it's gonna darken it. It's gonna give it kind of a, a glazy soupy look. Oh, my mouth's watering just looking at this. Look how beautiful that is. Look how amazing that is. Look, the meat's almost, look at this. Look at the meat, got all cooked just being in the soup. Isn't that beautiful? All right, let's give us a try. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That's awesome. Mmm. This is totally dinner today. I think I threw a little bit of um a little bit of salt in here. 
But other than that, it's awesome. Oh, a little more heat. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna enjoy this comfort food. This is pho, a Vietnamese dish. I wanna thank you guys for at least watching. Hopefully you'll share this on Facebook, and if you try it, post your pictures uh, on the Facebook page, facebook.com slash cooking with Jack. You take care. I'll see you on the next episode. Oh, man.